Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video is just a quick look around a basic panel shop. This is the panel shop I work in and the paint shop. So you've got your standard girly pictures. You can either look at that or you can look at the computer there which we use for mixing colours up. This is our mixing bank. We use standox at this workshop. You've got your colour charts. You've got your ordering board. You've also got all your colour swatches there. Your colour cards. Just some basic backups. We've got our tack rags. We've got some ancillary products. And th these are our Prepsol wiping rags. We've got our backup tinters here. So this video was basically made as a request. A couple of guys wanted just a quick look around the workshop. So uh, this is our paint mixing. Uh, we've got some other ancillary products down here. Just some miscellaneous stuff. Clear coats, degreasers, subframe blacks. We've got our gum wash in there which we fill up ourselves. These are our hardeners and our clears and reducers. We've got our paint strainers over there. This is where we do our spray outs here. I'll take you a quick walk around the entire paint shop and the entire panel shop as well. So this is where this is my bench here. We've got spray guns, sun gun, mini guns. We've got our paint. We like to keep a hold of it because sometimes we have the customers come back and that way we've got the, the colour mixed up for them that's been matched already. So this is our sanding papers here. This is our dry sanding cupboard we've got here. So we've got many different uh, ranges of sandpapers and they all get used. Scotch bright pads down here. Dust masks. Come over here where we clock on and off for the jobs. Wet sanding papers inside there gunman sticker and this is some of the other guys benches as well so this is you can expect to see similar stuff in most paint shops this is where we clean our guns out here it's a gun wash machine there it's got a recycled side and a clean side this is out the back in the yard it's got some bonnet flippers there you can put bonnets on this is where the compressor goes inside here We've got an atlas copco not 100% sure on the CFM and the exact PSI, but quick look at the compressor, nice big tank on it. It keeps up with a big panel shop, that one. And this up here is a uh, freezer. It freezes the air and uh, dries out any moisture that's in the air. Quick look at a couple of the jobs. We uh, did a little spot up inside there and we, we painted that back panel there quick look at a couple of the jobs around the paint shop as well. This is our workstation here. We've got the vacuum down the bottom there. Orbital sanders, guide coats, and just some frequently used sandpapers. A few different benches there for a couple of the different guys that work here. Down the side here we keep our bumper bars up on this rack here. To the left we keep our fenders. Down the back we keep our bonnets there. This is the old spray booth, this one here. Got the masking there. And a quick look inside this spray booth too. It's a bit of a newer one. A bit of a better quality spray booth this one. Monarch is the brand of this one. And Mirani is the old one. So this is just the Honda that I painted this morning. And a rear bumper bar for that ML Mercedes. So this is just our wax and grease removers, some plastic cleaners. With this spray booth, we um, we put a coating on that wall, which we can then hose off and then reapply so that the walls keep nice and clean. So here we go, a quick look around the panel shop now. This is uh, the toolboxes are locked up, so I'm not going to go and invade people's privacy by opening up their toolbox. But they're pretty standard panel beating tools in there. So this is the panel shop now. Quick look around. That white car there is all finished off. These are the ones that are ready to be started on. We'll be replacing that rear bumper bar there. These are just some panel beading sandpapers. So we've got the coarser grits there, the 80s, the 120s, and stuff like that. Here's a couple of the spot welders and the MIG welders, and a, uh, another vacuum cleaner there. There's the Porto power, <coughs> the pulling towers there, which they use on the car aligner to straighten the cars up. Down here we've got some more pulling chains, porto powers. And 
and here we've got the bench grinder and also the vice there. This is where the new parts come in, deliveries come in here, headlights, tail lights, everything. So this is just an average panel shop, it's not state of the art or anything, but we can still get a good quality job coming out of here. Here's some jobs that are being started off, strip them out so we can um, carry out the repair. Inside here we've got some more materials, cavity waxes, glues. We've got the uh, inside those drawers, the worth drawers, we've got clips, nuts, bolts, washers, everything like that. And we've got some miscellaneous ones in these trays here, we've got the, the globes there. Vacuum cleaners, this is our polishing tray, so we've got loads of different polishes. Some of them work better on certain cars, and we've got some more uh, materials over here. And out the back here, which is where we do our detailing and cut and polishing, and we wash the cars. We keep the old bumper bars up in that corner. Out the back here, we throw some of the panels before, we, um, before the job's finished. They might leave a door handle or two in, and then we can salvage them off if we need those parts so check out these other links if you haven't seen them this is just a basic panel shop as I said hopefully you've uh, learnt a couple of things if there's any questions shoot them in the comments below I'll happily answer them thanks for watching and this has been another Gunman production goodbye